Hey friends, I am so excited about today's little chat. We are going to talk about how to be more visible, not just with your social media marketing and the content that you're putting out there, but with you because you are your brand. How many times have you heard that? So I first want to start off by asking you, do you ever feel or have you felt or maybe you currently feel? a disconnect between your personal style and your services or your products or your brand or your business or the way you represent yourself with your brand, which guess what is you. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Please share some little or smash that heart. Um, so I know I'm not just talking to myself. And if you are new to the page, welcome. My name is Gina Tassinelli. I am the founder of Height Media. We are a boutique social media marketing agency, and we not only do done-for-you services with everything included, social media marketing, content creation, management, implementation, strategies, lead generation, blogging, uh, all sorts of fun marketing stuff. But we also are coaching solopreneurs as well, teaching them all of these strategies. But today specifically, I want to talk to you about one of my absolute passions, which is style and branding. And it's actually something that I am so passionate about because I'm also an image consultant and style coach. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that because it really is so important, especially for us solopreneurs, for us entrepreneurs that are putting ourselves out there more than ever on Zoom, on Facebook Lives, whatever you know, video you're doing to broadcast your message. You want to align your image with your brand because that's you. So um, if you are new to here, also give me a, let's see, let's do a, a, a fun little hashtag. Let's do a hashtag, hashtag brand. If you hear something that resonates with you, that you absolutely think, oh my gosh, yeah, I get it. I dig it. Okay. And if you have, you know, other business friends, entrepreneurs that you think would really benefit from this, feel free to sprinkle this in your newsfeed as well. Um, as you see below, I am offering something fun. So make sure to check out the little scroll below and you can say the word splash to get that. You'll get a message from me. So let's talk about brand style. What exactly does it mean? Well, here's the first thing. It means you, okay? Because like I said before, you are your brand. And so it's so important that whether you are working on branding for your business, branding for a product, or whatever you want people to believe in that has to do with your brand, it's super that you yourself are aligning your image with how you represent that service or product. And not to mention, that you align yourself with the prices that you're asking for, that you're charging, okay? So your exterior definitely must match what you're selling. It's just a fact. If you want it to all work cohesively together, your marketing, what you're putting out there, your colors, all of that, it needs to really match together. So think of yourself as your brand. So that's the very first thing that I want to talk about. Um, so here's the thing. If you're not sure what you're selling, or maybe you're thinking of starting a new business, um, a new service, especially now with, you know, this new environment that we're in, many people are getting laid off. They're looking for new opportunities, or maybe this has taken them some time staying home and more time to think about really what they're doing with their life. So if that's you and you're thinking, you know what, I want to start something new on my own. Think of what you're selling, which is you first, because when you are an entrepreneur and you are promoting a brand or a product, a service, 
you are putting yourself out there first. People want to connect with the human being that's behind that image or that product or that service, whatever it is that you are literally selling, but you are selling yourself first. So um, the first thing you want to do, so I'm going to share, I think like five tips or so. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to define what you're trying to say. Okay. So when you're putting yourself out there, before you can incorporate your personal brand into your you need to get really specific as to what you're trying to say with your brand. So what does your brand have to say about you? Okay. So when you consider this, think of words that describe you. And one of the, one of, I think the most genuine ways to really figure this out is to ask your friends, ask maybe like five or six friends to describe you. If they had just maybe five words, adjectives to use to describe you, how would they describe you? What would come to mind for them? And write those down, make a list. I'm looking at my notes. I'm sure you can tell because I get chatty. <laughs> so that's part of my brand, but, um, but I wanna focus and stick to what we're talking about. So. So again, start by asking your friends to describe you, okay? And make a list of those. Number two, stay consistent with your style. So don't contradict yourself. And I know this is going to sound super out there, but here's a great example. So say, for example, you work for PETA. The last thing you want to do is wear a fur coat, right? And I know that is way out there, but that it, it's a perfect example. Number three, highlight what is unique about you. So here's a great example. Michelle Obama, she has got these amazing buff arms. Guess what? She, her style and clothing, a lot of them, if you notice, they show off those buff arms and people talk about it. She's known for that. There's only one thing maybe that makes you unique and it's okay. I'm talking about like features, right? So. Um, it's okay to highlight those so that people remember you. Or another way that you can do this is with, for example, um, you know, grabbing attention to something that's extraordinary about you. So maybe it's your eye color. You know, maybe you have a super unique eye color. Highlight that eye color every time you are maybe taking a, a selfie of yourself, your um on a photo and some sort of advertisement, that is going to be a feature that is going to stand out about you that people recognize you with. Okay. Number, I think we're on number four, right? So try a signature style. Now, if you don't have one or you don't think you have one, it's okay. Now we do have a coaching program to through all of this. Um, and it's not just with your style, but also through your social media strategies and all of that sort of thing. So if you want to learn more about that and you want me to take a personal look at what you currently have going on with your branding, with your style, with your social media strategies, that's why you need to say the word splash because you're going to get a free 30 minute complimentary consult with me. And we will talk about all of these things. But Think about a signature style of yours. So, for example, um, if me, you know, say you're selling crazy socks. Well, you should have crazy socks on in every photo that you take or in every Facebook Live that you're on, and you should be highlighting those crazy socks. That's going to be your signature style. For me, I am also because I'm a personal stylist and image consultant. Um, I tend to wear a lot of statement pieces when I go to networking events and people recognize me as the stylist, as the image consultant, because that is part of my signature style. With height media, I wear, I tend to wear a lot of red because that's part of my branding. And so that's part of my signature style. So try to what your signature, signature style might be. And you can figure that out by knowing what you're, brand colors are, what, um, what unique features you have about you, what words are being used to describe you. 
And then number five is use color to convey your message. So I love this. And this is something that we also go through in the splash program. So when you think of about, for example, like brights and big prints, right? Then it typically means that you are somebody that is cheerful, that's outgoing, that's ex that's extroverted. Whereas if you tend to wear more black and white clothing, then you're more chic and have more of a classic look and an upscale style. And then blues come across a little more serene and intuitive and have a lot to do with honesty and trust. So check into your favorite colors and decide what colors you want to use to convey the message that best describes who you are. Okay. And then the last thing that I feel is super, super important is to be true to yourself. Don't be a copycat. You know, don't try to be like somebody else. Be true to yourself. And once you are and you find that authentic style brand and it aligns with the message you're trying to convey and the service you're trying to provide and the pricing that you're asking for, people will more likely be attractive to that than you just throwing something out there and hope, hopefully it sticks or someone buys it. So I hope you enjoyed this. All right. So I will see you back here live next Thursday at 1230 p.m. If you want to check out more of those image and personal style tips, make sure to follow me on Style Rebel Mama. And I go live on there every Wednesday at 1230 p.m. Eastern time as well. OK, so talk to you guys later and I look forward to seeing you drop the word splash so we can do a free 30 minute consult together. All right. Bye.